In this video, it's time for us to take this guitar up a notch. Come on. Hey, what's going on? Welcome, Cave Dweller, to RJ's Cave. I'm RJ. You're awesome. This is my IYV LP style guitar, and this is a new background for the channel. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. As for this guy, well, this guy's, well, we've had a journey, let's put it that way, because we've ended up making three videos so far. There was the uh, disaster of trying to buy this guitar from one eBayer who blocked me. Then there was the actual buy for less than the other guy, the first guy was offering it for. Uh, so thank you for that, buddy. And uh, then there was the actual uh, unboxing review, all that stuff. And now it's time to upgrade this one. I've had a little time with it and I've decided that there's a couple of things that I need to talk to you guys about about the guitar because I made some uh, comments in the review that now I feel a little bit differently about. So I want to do that while I actually put on some cosmetic upgrades. Yeah, no, no pickups, no tuners. Those are the things we're going to talk about. And, uh, well, let's set it up. So as I set up for this shot, I realized that I hadn't even shown you guys or told you guys what we're actually going to be upgrading. Uh, it's just cosmetic stuff. This is the poker chip we're going to be replacing the white one with. And we're going to be changing out the, uh, the brass colored knobs for chrome colored speed knobs. Uh, these are going to really help out and make this look nice. I can't wait. And these two little things are going to make a big difference in the appearance of the guitar. Stick around to the end of the video because I want to do a before and after of what this guitar looks like right now versus what it's going to look like after all this stuff is on. And we'll both really get to see the impact of just $15, $20 worth of plastic parts, what that can really do for the look of the guitar. Alright, so don't go nowhere. What I do with these is I make sure that they're turned all the way down and I try with my good eyes on to set the zero up so it's at about one o'clock. If this is upright and I'm looking down on that, um, I want the zero to be at one o'clock on the clock like on a clock so that as I play I can see it I'm gonna have it all the way up it'll show me 10 surprise I told you I need to talk to you about those tuners right all right then so here's the deal Originally, in the review, I was on the fence about these tuners. I said, you might want to give me a couple of weeks with them before I come up with an actual decision. Something to that effect. You can check for yourself. The link for the video is in your upper right-hand corner. All right? Uh, so, uh, well, I've had a couple of weeks with it now. And uh, here's my assessment. They work pretty well. Uh, they have about a 14 to 1 tuning ratio, which can be okay. Not great. But okay, uh, as far as they look, they look the part. They don't look cheap. Uh, as far as how they feel, like tuning buttons in your hand, they feel really good. I say that because I have some guitars with tuning buttons that when I go between the two guitars, I can feel the difference of the thickness of the buttons in my hands. And the other guitars, some of them have some pretty cheap tuners on them. I mean, you guys see some of the videos, <laughs> right? So. Uh, these, they don't feel that way. It's just that they're 14 to 1. So they're fine for now. They're going to stay on the guitar as it is. Uh, at least until I decide otherwise. Let's see how far I've gotten now with the, um, with the cosmetic upgrades. Beautiful. Looks great so far. Matches the pit guard and the uh, humbucker rings nicely. This is where things are going to get a little tricky. Because 
This nut is not a normal nut. It does not have six sides to it. This is a knurled nut. This requires a very specific tool, so I don't have that. We have to get creative. Unfortunately, this is probably going to mess around with this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little tape, cover this up a little bit around here, and we're going to be using a pair of, probably a pair of needle nose pliers. This is not, this is not the preferred way to do this, okay? I am risking my personal instrument to get this done. Alright? You will make the judgment to do the same in this situation, okay? Whether you choose to do that, do, to do what I'm doing or not, is going to be up to you. Alright? Don't come to me uh, after watching this video four years from now on YouTube saying, Hey, RJ, you said this and this happened. That ain't going to fly with me, all right? <laughs> so, I'm just trying to give a little clearance to the uh, pliers as they go around so that hopefully, if and probably when it slips, uh, it doesn't damage the paint. If you enjoy this kind of content and you'd like to help us out, how about clicking the super thanks button down below this video and giving us a tip? Or you click the link in the description down below, and that'll take you to Cave Dwellers, that's the RJ's Cave Merch Store, where you can buy a hat, a coffee mug, a t-shirt, or a stick. very nice this is a good opportunity to report that is actually shielding paint in the hole This may have been put on here when the paint was still a little wet. I kind of have to peel it off there. Interesting. Oh, well. No big deal. All right. There it is. Did you miss me? Why? I told you earlier that I had to talk to you guys about the pickups, right? Because I kind of had a little bit of a change of mind. Well, here I am. Here's the deal. Originally, I thought these pickups were really, really good. And generally speaking, that really hasn't changed. I've just gotten, I think, a little picky in my age. <laughs> um, look, it's like this. Uh, the neck pickup is uh, good. I like it. It doesn't need to go anywhere. Uh, it's perfectly fine for the neck position and it's got enough volume. It's got a uh, good balance of tone. So It's not going anywhere The bridge pickup however is a little bit on the thin side and the output seems like it's a little bit strangled and I've come to find that maybe maybe they've been wiring these guitars in a way that Comes uh, they kind of strangle that a little bit. I think they're mimicking something that somebody was mentioning online that Gibson does so uh, the remedy for that is supposed to be just switching to 50s wiring so i'm gonna mess around with that idea a little bit you'll probably see more on that down the road with this guitar all right so uh so let's see what i'm up to see if i got this thing done how it looks let's check it out oh yeah there's a little adhesive to help keep it in place okay a little stickiness Fine by me. Oh. 
RJ's, RJ's game, game is about, about to pass 10,000 10, subscribers. When, when we, we do, we, we are, are doing, doing a giveaway. giveaway. So, so subscribe and win, win a four-channel four channel mixer, mixer or, or a wireless, wireless microphone, microphone system or, or a, a wireless, wireless guitar, guitar system. system. So, so subscribe, subscribe to RJ's, RJ's game, cave, get, get notified, notified take, take part, part, and win. And win. What do you think? Alright, so what do you think about the upgrades? How does she look? Personally speaking, I think she looks pretty nice. I don't think the color match is perfect. I wasn't expecting it to be. You kind of take your chances when you buy this stuff because even with the IYV stuff that's on the guitar, you'll see that there's a bit of a difference between the pick guard and the, uh, the pickup rings. The pickup rings are darker. To my eye, there's a more uniformity there. It looks nicer. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for hanging around with me today. Uh, you guys, as always, are awesome. I'm RJ. Until the next one. Take it easy.